as the Ceylon tea industry prepares to celebrate 150 years. It is also under the threat. Yesterday, we highlighted several threats facing the industry. Tonight, we take a look at the situation of the tea industry of our country. They look as though there's plenty of tea leaves for the tea workers to pick. But it's only these new leaves which are good enough quality to count at auction. Each day it is expected that the tea workers pluck at least 18 kilos of tea, which is equivalent to roughly the size of this basket. Which is heavier than you think. According to a union boss, workers face increasing challenges in plucking tea because of weeds, leeches and bees. Here one woman shows us scars from leeches. Ceylon tea is renowned for its superior quality, but with the majority of it shipped abroad, few Sri Lankans can actually afford to drink it. The question is, how many of those people enjoying their cup of Ceylon tea in countries abroad actually stop to think about the plight of Sri Lankan tea workers? Indra Devi lives on the state-run St. Coombs Plantation with her husband, mother and three young children. Despite a government policy to give estate workers their own plot of land, the stark reality is many still live in homes that barely provide shelter. The tea industry is facing a labour crisis. Although some aspects of tea pluckers' lives may have improved, there are still considerable concerns about the social problems they face. I visited a state plantation community and it was saddening to witness their stagnation in cycles of poverty in extremely harsh living conditions with little access to services including sanitation, health and education. Alcoholism, child labor, violence and sexual abuse are reportedly common and a significant proportion of the school aid children drop out or do not go to school. The isolation of many estates from nearby towns cannot be underestimated. With improved education over the last few years, Many workers are looking for a better future for their children away from the estates. I love it in a Kivella, Pilagan, and Lapadiche, Ingaluk, Inganga, the Pivella Seron to Kokoladi, Ingapilagan, and Lord Joplatin, and Lord the Valpes. As a result, many plantation owners now face an urgent shortfall of workers and a growing number of retired workers living on the estate. Undeniably, the living conditions vary hugely. While this is sometimes because family members send money from outside the state, it also seems some plantation companies take better care of their workforce. But is there another reason why some tea workers live better than others? Consumption of liquor is very high in the plantation area. The man who consumes liquor, more liquor, will not do anything. That family will suffer. One family will be okay, the next family will be suffering. If the, when the output is affected, it affects their earning and their quality of life. High alcoholism leads to household domestic violence. And most of the time, the victims of such domestic abuse is the women. But why are so many estate workers driven to drink? The Planters Association say there are already some programs to tackle alcohol abuse on estates. But can more be done? Studies have shown that a happy workforce is more productive. If the tea industry is to have a future, the health and well-being of workers must be taken seriously. Because without them, there is no tea and no industry. In the final film in the series, we look at what hope there is for an industry many believe to be in decline.